Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for this week's quick tip. Today what I want to talk about is leftovers. Extra food. No, what I really want to talk about is how to handle and what to do with leftovers. These days, there are more people at home, kids are at home for virtual learning, adults may or may not be going to work every day, maybe only a few days a week, maybe every other week, but you definitely have a lot more people in the house than you're more than likely than used to having all the time and having to cook more food than you're used to cooking. And a lot of times, if that's something you're not used to doing, you end up with a lot of leftovers. It's funny how you rarely end up with not enough food, you know? But you always end up with extra. And extra food ends up in the fridge, may or may not be eaten within the next 24 to 48 hours. And usually when it is, it's thrown in the microwave, it's dried out and overcooked, and not very good, but at least it's something to eat especially when you're at work. There are ways to avoid that. Simple, easy ways to avoid it. Even if all you have to reheat with is a microwave. Now, most people that know me know I'm not a huge fan of microwaves. No disrespect, no disrespect to the microwave. It does make great popcorn, but I don't like to cook in a microwave. I try not to reheat in the microwave if I don't have to. But when I do, there are ways to do it so that the food doesn't get dried out, it doesn't get even more overcooked, it doesn't end up hot and dried up on the outside and cold and mushy in the middle. There are ways to prevent that. So let's go over a couple of them. Number one, whatever you're putting in the microwave, cover it up. Obviously not with aluminum foil. Don't take a whole container out of the fridge and throw the whole container in the microwave because now you've got a cold top in a with cold food in a cold container, and that just messes up the heating process. The best thing to do is to take whatever it is you are heating up out of the cold container that it's in into a room temperature bowl, cover it, and put it in there to cook with these. Paper towels. Take a paper towel and wet it. I don't mean soak it. Just get it good and damp like that and cover the food that you're going to cook with that in the microwave. As everything heats up, this produces steam and it's trapped inside. Steam makes moisture. Moisture keeps things from drying out. And a perfect way to test this and see if I'm right or wrong, and I'm betting that I'm right, maybe take some leftover marinara sauce or cold soup that you've got in the fridge, put it in a bowl, cover it up with a wet paper towel and put it in the microwave. When you take it out when the time is done, the first thing that happens when you take this off is you're going to see steam. The steam is trapped in here. That's what's keeping it from drying out, is the moisture, is the steam. You can do this with everything you're heating up in the microwave. I cover everything with a wet paper towel just to keep the moisture in because I don't want it to dry out. Number two. Size matters, <laughs> sorry, but it does. The bigger whatever you're gonna heat up, the longer it's gonna take, the harder it's gonna be to heat up all the way through, the harder it is gonna keep from completely drying out. The easiest and best thing to do is to cut it up. Leftover chicken is a great example. Chicken breasts, for example, um, Boneless, skinless chicken breast, maybe cooked on the grill, cooked in the oven, cooked on the stove, doesn't matter. It dries out. It can dry out easily when it's cooked and it's definitely going to be dry the next day. So, before you put it away in the fridge, before you heat it up, slice it up. Cut it up into chunks if it's already in slices. If it's one whole chicken breast, slice it up before you heat it. Throw a paper towel over it. And if you want to use the microwave, put it in the microwave. Another way is to remember, heat up what you're eating and what you cooked it in, if available. So if you cooked something on the stove, I would recommend putting it back in a pot and heating it up on the stove. If you cooked it in the oven, same thing, put it in the oven. If you cooked it outside on the grill, put it in the oven. Why? Cook things on the grill, they get that nice sear, they're nice and grilled. 
You can't put it back onto the grill because it's just going to burn the outside before you heat the inside. But if you cover it up and put it in the oven, it'll heat up evenly and stay nice and moist. Won't dry out. And that's it. It's that simple. Like I said, I'm not going to go through everything because I don't have examples for everything people are eating these days. But I can tell you the best and easiest way to do it and what to remember to always do is to cover up whatever it is that you are heating up. Steam moisture prevents drying out. So a wet paper towel over a room temperature bowl of whatever it is is going to keep it from drying out in the microwave. Put a lid on the pot on the stove or wrap whatever's going in the oven in aluminum foil. Moisture is key. Even if you have to drop a couple droplets of water in there to get some steam, especially in the oven, makes all the difference. The last thing I want to say, how often? How often do you reheat food? Once. Don't reheat things over and over again. Number one, you open up the door for sickness and bacteria and all sorts of things to happen to your food, which I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to get into all that. But what I can tell you from professional experience, every time you heat up something and then cool it down and then heat it up again, you're changing the flavor, you're changing the texture, you're changing everything. And the quality of the meal goes down. It's like making a copy of a copy. It's never as good. You know what I mean? Try to heat things up just once. Try to make sure that they're covered and get that moisture in there. And don't do it for too long. And remember, size matters. That's it, folks. Have a great week. See you in a few days. Happy Wednesday to everybody. It's almost the weekend. We'll be cooking up something fun. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.